Kevin Costner is officially out of Yellowstone, but this doesn't mean that his career is over. It's clear that he is leaving the show that revived his career, and this is a bold decision for sure. Thus, I believe many of us are concerned about what to expect from him next, as it's quite difficult to top Yellowstone no matter what he does. Costner, however, seems to be of a different opinion. In fact, he is already on to his next project, which is written, produced, and directed by him, titled Horizon. In a way, this is the quintessential passion project for the legendary actor, to the point of supposedly causing him to leave Yellowstone. Well, if this doesn't prove that Costner has put his heart and soul into this project, I don't know what does. Horizon might be the biggest gamble of Horizon's life, and it better pays off. In today's video, we will look at everything we know about the project so far and try to see whether it is worth leaving Yellowstone behind or not. According to IMDb, Horizon is taking place in the Civil War era, covering 15 years of the American West at the time. I know that many of you guys immediately thought of the Yellowstone prequel 1883 as it was also taking place right after the Civil War and was focusing on the American West. I'm not sure whether Costner took inspiration from 1883 or not. I commissioned this story in 1988, single movie a two-hander, a conventional western with a beginning, middle, and end. I couldn't get anybody to make it, he said in an interview on the project, so it's likely that he has been dreaming about making these movies for decades at this point. But I know for sure that the reaction to 1883 solidified that there was a gap in the sector when it comes to historical dramas that are focusing on the American West during the Civil War, and people are hungry for such ideas. So I believe Costner will try to fulfill that demand, which is a smart move. Besides, let's be honest. The subject matter is basically the expertise of Costner. He might be the number one modern-day actor who comes to mind when it comes to westerns, not only thanks to Yellowstone, but also the fact that he directed two acclaimed western movies, Dances with Wolves and Open Range. Dances with Wolves even won Oscar, which is the highest praise a movie can achieve, solidifying that Costner is qualified on westerns. You know, it's too much black hat, white hat. It's too much people saying, yep, nope. It's not the truth. It was a Victorian age. People wrote beautiful letters. Mm -hmm. Their use of the language. The common cowboy, yeah, he was shy. He was, there, there was an economy of language. They didn't feel like they needed to fill up the air. So it's, it's, th there's, a, there's a musical dance that I feel when I do a Western. And my, my draw to it isn't the gunfight. My draw is it into how people talk with each other. And, and, the, and the real randomness that was out there in the West for violence and the, and the type of characters that were finding themselves on the West after the Civil War. There was no place. If you believe that current war heroes and people in war are dealing with this post-traumatic stress, which we do believe that, imagine, imagine when half the country was fighting and when that war was off, over, where those people went. And a lot of them could never go home again. And a lot of them found themselves out in the West with disturbed and a lot of, and there was no law out there. That being said, as with any passion project, even if you are as established and rich as Costner, you're likely to face a lot of financial problems. In Costner's case, the project lead him to mortgage 10 acres on the water in Santa Barbara, which was originally supposed to host Costner's next home. But I did it without a thought. It has thrown my accountant into a fucking conniption fit. But it's my life and I believe in the idea and the story. Costner expressed on his decision. It's clear that this is no big deal for him, as the mortgage isn't likely to put him in any financial trouble. However, it's also clear that he plucked the courage for Horizon and is ready to do what it takes to make this project come to reality. The idea of finding your own yellow brick road where you felt the most comfortable, where you've made your reputation, at least professionally, you know, you had a definitive moment. I didn't have a definitive moment that I would be an actor because I actually, I was a pretty naive kid and I'm a very conservative background. I actually thought that the people who were on screen were born on the screen. Mm. I didn't think that was an option for me. I, I, you know, I was born in Compton, California, and I didn't think that that could be, that was a, you know, that was, that's what somebody else does. But, but I would... could look at it and go, that's phony. I could look at it and go, that's real. I could look at it and say, that move me. And what I knew for a long time was I actually understood how to isolate what it was I was seeing. Yeah. I could see where it went off track or I could see where it went. And being really experienced in the business, I, I have a lot of empathy because I know how they get off track. It took eight years for Costner to truly think about this story after initially getting the idea for it. Since then, the horizon turned into a four screenplay project I thought it was really good, but I still couldn't get anybody to make it. 
I don't know why, but I haven't let go of this one. I pushed it into the middle of the table three times in my career and didn't blink. This is my fourth. Obviously, Costner cares a lot about this project, much more than he ever did for Yellowstone, which makes me want to believe that Horizon will eventually be worth it. Costner went as far as to give up on any of his earnings from the first two movies of the project as well, which means he will not gain anything financially from them. Of course, even he admitted that this was a huge risk and he is never going to do such a thing again. I'm never putting my fucking money in another movie after these four, he expressed, which tells a lot. You might be working on your dream project, but it doesn't change the fact that it can be draining, both mentally and financially. The casting of the movie seems pretty strong so far. Sienna Miller, Sam Worthington, Ella Hunt, Will Patton, Luke Wilson, Isabel Furman, Thomas Hayden Church, Michael Rooker, Glenn Turman, Kathleen Quinlan, and Giovanni Ribisi are set to star in the movies as well as Costner's 13 years old son Hayes. When it comes to the release date, though, there is still ambiguity. The first movie is in post production, and the production for the second movie has already started. So Costner is doing his best to release them as quickly as possible. In a previous interview, he expressed that he is hoping to release the first one in fall 2023. The movies will be released in theaters initially. However, once the saga is completed, they will be available on Warner Bros. streaming platform, Max. It's really been the hardest thing I've ever done, but it's exactly what I want to do, Costner said on the show, revealing that he is very much self-aware of how much he puts in danger with this project. Still, I can't help but respect him for his strong stance when it comes to establishing his dreams, even if it costs us Yellowstone. I'm not a fan of all we most westerns. I'm a fan of only about five, ten. That's five not to much. ten. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I love the beauty of the country, but I won't tolerate bad language, meaning literacy, mm -hmm. of a western in, in on on TV or in film. I hate it. I don't like it when it's dumb. Uh, I don't uh, because I think there's such great opportunity because the architecture of a western should be to actually frighten you sitting in the dark watching something thinking that could have just happened to me and I don't know what I would have done. Too often, you know, movies start with, you know, 50 people dead and that gives that person a right on a revenge killing. Certainly revenge played a, a big part. People that continue to kill, you know, we think about the Hatfields and McCoys as a great vendetta. Vendettas happened for 60 years after the Civil War were over. People were still getting even with other people, or using that war as a terrible excuse to get even with something, to take. America was a wide open place and r violence was random. And when, you, and when you really invest in the writing to actually make that a character, the randomness, and it can be really scary to be out there by yourself, to be a decent man mm -hmm. and come across psychopaths. What are your thoughts on Horizon? Will you be tuning in to watch the movies and support Cosmere in making his dreams come true? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.